I want you to think about what it looks like when the music stops. Okay, are you gonna have a chair when things start to go back to normal? And by that I mean, are you gonna be able to demonstrate meaningfully and specifically the things that you and your team have refined and optimized? Hey, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. This is a follow-up uh, 2.0 on the silver linings, okay? Because many of our high caliber teams are now starting to chip away at some of the things that they've been putting off uh, doing in the last year or two. And they've actually created a checklist and they are working on things like creating a digital vault for their clients, uh, addressing gaps in their playbook and their service model, uh, being really incremental on and disciplined on sending five cards out a day to pay tribute to client achievements and milestones and moments of truth, uh, being very consistent with a form-based call rotation, uh, refining websites and social engagement, taking that a little more seriously, bolstering all of that with digital resources, just chipping away and letting these activities compound. It's productive for your team as they're at home working. Uh, it's empowering and it's exciting to work on some of these things that are more on the art of your business, not necessarily the science. And of course, don't keep any of this a secret. Make sure you are telling the people you interact with, your strategic partners, your clients, this is our silver lining. These are the things we've been doing to get better and raise the bar. One of the best examples I've heard of this, one of our coaches was talking to a very high caliber advisory team and they came to a conclusion. They made a decision that part of their rules of engagement that they are pulling the pin. And what that means is Every single client has to embrace their process and with that, manage money. No rogues, no outliers. And it's part of the fit process. It's not optional. And if somebody doesn't see the merit, it's not a good fit. Okay, so it's part of their up or out approach and it's being done respectfully. But that's one of the silver linings that this episode has revealed. And of course, what they're doing is with that uh, additional time that they're manufacturing from their bench strength is they're allocating talent to be more deliberate on the client experience. Like one example is consistent updates on the PFO. Okay, so the PFO, the personal financial organizer, okay, or you might call it your welcome kit. It's that tangible life in a book that your clients can hold in the hand in their hands that really speaks to their relationship with you and how they're bought in and aware of your process and appreciating your client experience and all of the people on your team. It's incredible how powerful this is. And of course, when it comes to competitor proofing and getting out in front of money in motion and capturing that and creating advocacy, the tangible and digitized, constantly updated version of that, I mean, it's second to none. I want you to think about what it looks like when the music stops, okay? Are you gonna have a chair when things start to go back to normal? And by that, I mean, are you gonna be able to demonstrate meaningfully and specifically the things that you and your team have refined and optimized? Are you gonna be able to say to your clients, look, this is what we worked on. We can't wait to share it with you. I'd like you to take between now and the window, for between now and Labor Day to really refine and optimize and work on your business and work on your checklist. So when you turn the corner at Labor Day and head into the fourth corner, you are that proverbial coiled spring and you'll position yourself to make 2021 your best year ever. This is where you win right now. Okay. So again, thanks for watching. This is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. Until next time, make it a great day.